uh, Auburn week. Uh, really excited for the opportunity to travel down there and uh, play them. What a great environment. What a great fan base. Had the opportunity to go down there and, and uh, be a part of a lot of football games. It's just a great place to play. Um, very motivated football team down there right now. Very impressed with what they've done the past two weeks. Uh, you can tell they're playing with a lot of passion, um, and, the, and the staff there has done a fantastic job of getting those guys going, and there's just tremendous pride there and honor. And so I know our players will be really excited for the opportunity to play down there and really looking forward to a really good competitive game. With that said, questions? Um, you know, looking back a few weeks, obviously the North Texas game was disappointing, and then the, the performances the last two weeks have been you know, really good complete performances. Do you feel like you're playing your best football this season? Well, I've, I've, I've liked how we responded, you know, uh, when you have a tough loss like you, we had at North, with North Texas, you need to respond in the right way. And I felt like that's what we've done the, right, the, the past two weeks. Um, we're playing at a high level. There's certain a lot of things that we can fix. Um, we're not there yet, and we need to play our best game this week. That's what it's going to take to, to beat Auburn is we got to hit all three phases and playing at a high level. And uh, so we're close. We're not there yet, but I, I've been very impressed with the performance the past two weeks. But got a lot of football left to play, and, and we need to keep getting better for sure. Coach, against uh, North Texas, that Well, I think we've limited the penalties. That was a huge part of it. Uh, we got to continue to do that. You know, we killed ourselves against North Texas with penalties that just killed drives. So the past couple of weeks, we've cleaned that up. And then we've played complimentary football. You know, if the, off, if the offense is hitting and, you know, and, and scoring, the defense is following that back up with uh, getting turnovers and giving it back to the offense. We've just been playing complimentary football for the past couple of weeks. And I felt like uh, our special teams has given us good field position. You know, they, we had a punt return for a touchdown last week. That was huge. Uh, big momentum change right there for us. So just a lot of good things over the past couple weeks that have added up for us. You've had a lot of guys in that running back room step up at different points this year. Kai obviously missed the last few games but came back. Um, you know, LT stepped up, Davion stepped up. Marquise comes in late on a Saturday's game, you know, made some plays. Do you see him, you know, getting more touches earlier in the games or is he just going to? Well, you know, we've kind of been running back by committee. It's getting to that point of the year where, you know, when you're a running back, you're pretty banged up and bruised. And so, you know, it's, we're fortunate to have some depth there. Uh, he's definitely has earned the right to be a part of that equation. Um, you know, we just got to keep bringing him along. Uh, I know a lot of people were asking about him over the past couple of weeks. I, I really wanted to get to this past week to get him in the game, and I thought that was the right timing for it. It worked out well for us. So now the next plan is how do we start to implement him more and, and what is his role? You know, he's really in control of that piece, and, and as our team is, we compete every week in practice to see who, who's going to play and how much they're going to play. And so we got a good uh, running back room, and it's very competitive, and so he'll have to continue to compete and but we're going to try to get him in there get get reps now that he's healthy and, and doing some good things so we'll see where that goes we'll know later in the week how much that is though uh, coach when it comes down to that earlier in the year you guys played uh at indiana and you know take ball game with the crowd how much does that experience even though it was lost help you guys out you know going to auburn and on their senior day yeah, I, you know, I've always felt like our guys really like playing in the big arenas. Um, we have good history here at WKU of, of playing teams that are Power Five opponents and having success. And, um, you know, so I don't think we look much into that. I think it's more of a, a great honor to have the ability to play at a, at a place like Auburn and, and to play in front of a crowd that's, man, one of the best in college football, to be honest with you. I, I had a chance to go home on Saturday and, and watch that game, and uh, you would have thought they were playing for an SEC championship, you know, and to have the fan support that they had, that says a lot about their program, you know, and, and how passionate they are, and I, I think it really helped the team. There's a lot of pride and honor there, so we're, we have a lot of pride and honor on our football team, too, and so, you know, we're just excited for that opportunity to to go to a place like Auburn and, and, and play them and 
Um, like I said, you know, we've always done pretty well on those platforms. We'll find out how we how we fare against them, but uh, I think you'll see two motivated football teams play on Saturday. Should be a good game. Uh, you know, that's a good question. You know, we, we kind of, we're, part, we're a process group. You know, I say all the time, uh, Tuesdays a Tuesday, or Wednesdays a Wednesdays. Everybody knows what to expect each day. Um, we try to focus on ourselves more than anything and what we need to do to win games. As the week gets close, you know, you get closer to game time and all that, I think the excitement does grow. And uh, that's the beauty of college football. You know, you look forward to these type of games. And, uh, you know, so I, we don't talk about it much. We just kind of go through the process. But I know our guys will be excited come Saturday for the opportunity. Yeah, he was at USC and then Nebraska, yeah. Do you have any kind of relationship with him, or was that not during your time that you come after No, he came after my time. Um, you know, obviously with my brother being at USC and a lot of the coaching staff and players was very familiar with uh, Marquise and, you know, good guy and a good person and, and um, had, had, had done some really good things at USC, to be honest with you. He got hurt at USC, and, you know, that kind of hindered him a little bit. But... Uh, you know, it's just good that it's good to get him here, and and, and you know, he's a guy that um, he's a big physical guy, obviously, and um, he's worked hard to get to this point. You know, he had an injury early in the season, and he's worked really hard to get back from that. Um, you know, so we just gotta. You know, this is again, this is why you have a lot of depth in your skill positions because, you know, when you get those bumps and bruises, it's kind of a next man up mentality. I like the competition in the running back room, you know, and so we'll let everybody compete this week and we'll, we'll see what happens come game time. Uh, again, they're, they're playing with a lot of a pride, a lot of effort right now. I think they're a rejuvenated bunch. You know, it's, it's so hard. I, I've been a part of staffs that, you know, you lose your head coach and there's a lot of what ifs and you don't, you don't know what's going to happen. And just to see that football team rally the past two weeks like they have and, and the passion they're playing with says a lot about them, man, and that program and the pride that they have. And so we expect to to get their best game for sure and uh you know we just we need to be on our game you know and 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 we like those matchups like i said and it'll be a fun game but uh they have a lot to play for you know they're still they're still trying to go win these last couple games and make a statement and, and go do things in the postseason and um so you know i, I don't they have responded with such honor and pride, that's what stood out to me, and uh, and the fan base, and and just their coaching staff, and you know, the, the, I know the struggles they've had during the season, but just to watch them the past two weeks, it's it's been pretty cool to see. Yeah, but he's he's a good football player. Both running backs are good football players. It's a one-two punch, and obviously, you know, he's a very talented person, um, very hard to tackle, runs runs with great pad level, big hitter. You know, when he gets out there in, in the open, you're not you're not going to catch him. Um, so we got to do a great job. I know Coach Summers will be up here in a little bit. He'll he'll give you probably a little more in depth of how to stop him. I'm glad he's got to answer that question, not me. Um, but very impressed. I mean, he, he's what an Auburn running back should should be, you know. And I know his his head coach and, and Coach uh, Williams is, you know, he's he's uh, he's telling him what he needs to do at what level, and, and he's playing at a high level right now for sure. And what about their quarterbacks? Guy, uh, yeah. Ball a little bit around small quite a bit. Um, you know, what challenges do you present? You know, do you have any comparisons of him or any of the other quarterbacks that face this year? Uh, you know, I don't have a comparison there, but he's a good game manager. He's very athletic, a uh, very good competitor. You can tell he's a passionate about, you know, wanting to win. Um, they've utilized him well the past two weeks. I think they've done some good things with him. Uh, he can beat you with his legs. He can beat you with his arm. Um, I think he's playing good complimentary football for what they're asking him to do. 
Um, so, yeah, I've, I've been impressed with him. And, you know, he's he's had to develop, too. You know, they've had several quarterbacks play. And, you know, he seems to be, you know, especially last week, seemed to do some really, really good things. You know, you said you've been some part of some memorable games down there at Jordan Hare State. Do you have a, a favorite memory down there? We haven't talked about your playing days, I don't think, since we went yeah. to the Legion Field in Birmingham. Uh, probably, I mean, the most recent one, I, when I was the OC at University of Tennessee, we went there in 2018, and, and we were a team that, you know, we were trying to grow and develop, and, and um, we, we came away with a good win down there in 2018, and, and they were a good football team. And, um, you know, my brother went to Auburn and, uh, and was there for three years, played for Pat Dye, and I know Coach Dye, and uh, you know, so just a lot of respect there and, and seen, seen a lot of those games and, and those kind of things. And, you know, just have a lot of respect for SEC football and the brand of football that, that, that those teams play in the SEC. And so I think we play a good brand of football here. And so it's cool to be able to try to match up against, you know, that, that brand.